Exercise eight in our nine exercise progression is now something that looks a lot more like a squat. Now we're gonna do a goblet squat. So we take some sort of weights. I have a 15 pound dumbbell here. Normally I don't give people 15 pounds. This was just the first thing that I found. Uh, you can use a milk carton. You can use a couple books. You can use a light chair, anything that resists your, um, your ability to fall forward, right? Anything that's heavy enough to kind of encourage your body to fall forward so that your body can learn not to fall forward, okay? That's the secret to this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this weight and we're just gonna hold it in the front like this. We're gonna take a normal like shoulder width stance, toes are slightly outward. I'll scoot back so you can see my feet and I'll turn a little bit so you can see my feet. So I'm right here, hold the weight in front of my body and I squat down and squat back up. Now, I have, this is, ep <laughs> this is episode, this is episode 99 of fixing your squat. Um, I have a lot more videos on squatting that will walk you through how to do all this correctly. But what I wanna talk about today is just the stuff that's pertinent to, towards uh, chest caving. So what you'll notice is if this weight is too heavy, you'll still cave your chest as you come down, even though it's pulling you down, right? So you, your body doesn't want to feed into the weight, it wants to resist the weight because if it feeds into the weight, it makes it feel like your body is falling. So instead, this weight is meant to automatically put you in a good position, a good like upright position, a good shift your butt back position. So we're doing this to teach you how to load your hamstrings while you do your squats and teach you how to not cave your chest while you do your squats. Again, the hamstrings there are trying to keep that low back mobile trying to keep some of the stress off of it, trying to ask that low back to do less, okay? We're asking our legs to do more. So what I want you to think about is, yes, you're gonna feel your quad, and I want you to feel all of your quad here, but I also want you to feel your hamstrings and even your glutes at the bottom of this movement. Okay? If you don't feel a little bit of that, then try to move around. Go back through some of the cues that we've done. We did a little hip tuck, just like this. Maybe you're taking in, again, maybe you're taking in too much air. We don't need to stick the chest up quite so much. The problem isn't usually too much air, or the problem isn't usually not enough air. Sometimes it's too much air, okay? And so we need to find that happy medium so you're not just cranking yourself in one direction or the other. Okay, and this weight is here to help you find that happy medium. Again, shoulder width stance, we're squatting down. I'm trying to find my hamstring. I felt like I fell forward a little bit on that. I felt my toes a little bit more. So I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna stop talking because I think I'm breathing too much when I talk. <sighs> oh yeah, now I feel my hamstrings. I feel my heels in the ground and I'm gonna squat down. Oh, yep. So I feel that a lot more, okay? Now make sure you're not looking down. Make sure you keep looking up. You should even feel some ab. Oh, there we go, got that now. And I got more hamstring now, good. So abs and hamstrings usually go together in something like this, okay? It's not gonna be abs like you're doing a bunch of crunches. It's not gonna feel the same. I threw that a little too far. It's not gonna feel the same, right? They're not gonna get super tired, but I should feel some tension there so that you have control of your middle section, your midsection, okay? And that comes all the way back to exercise number one. We were loosening this up with our full rock back to get the mobility that we needed. And now we've gradually progressed up to standing, to squatting with a little implement that's going to help us but we're trying to maintain the slight gains that we've made so that we can transfer them into the squat. So that was exercise number eight in our nine exercise progression for fixing the chest cave, the goblet squat.